for the third part of a uh, uh, lecture on transmission uh, immunology so we will uh, discuss a bit on mechanisms on underlying organ uh, rejection so for transplant uh, rejection to enable a foreign organ to be accepted uh, without suppressing immunity because we know uh, with the treatment with uh, immunosuppression will also uh, lead to uh, exposure to uh, high exposure to anti uh, infections because of the weakened immune system remains a challenge for immunologists uh, today both uh, delayed type hypersensitivity and cell mediated cytotoxicity reactions have been uh, implicated in transplant rejection and this uh, cell mediated graft rejection occurs in two stages first is the sensitization phase uh, which uh, T cells uh, are being stimulated this can be observed uh, as uh, introduction of the foreign uh, antigen to the uh, T helper cells. And second is the effector stage where uh, the activated uh, immune cells attack the graft or the uh, organ. So transplant rejection, um, how fast uh, they occur? Uh, there are three major uh, types uh, which based on uh, the duration the rejection occurred. So first we have we have the fastest uh, rejection also known as a hyperacute rejection. So this uh, this is mediated by the pre-existing uh, host antibodies to the donor or graft antigens. So these uh, pre-existing uh, antibodies. Uh, forms, uh, there are so many ways uh, on how uh, the host or the recipient somehow already uh, produce or have the antibody against the host antigens. Second is a acute graft rejection in which uh, T helper cells and cytotoxic T cells uh, will uh, lead to uh, tissue damage and the third one is a chronic rejection uh, uh, which take uh, years uh, to happen uh, more than six months or years which involve uh, both uh, CMI and uh, humoral immunity so first we have a look on the uh, sensitization phase so if we look on the uh, donor graft or the uh, transplanted organ so the antigen uh, reactive lymphocytes of the uh, host or recipient will uh, proliferate uh, in response to the yellow antigen on the graft so this is a uh, we call we call uh, this as a uh, as yellow antigen because uh, majority of the uh, transplantation uh, is being done within the same species but different individuals so even though we know that uh, the best will be uh, between autograph and isograph uh, between uh, identical twins but uh, that wouldn't be possible for everyone so uh, allograph is the most commonly done so the antigen is, is known as allo antigen so this allo antigen uh, will be uh, detected by the recipient first through the MAC class 1 of the graft or donor uh, organ together with the donor antigen which is uh, being presented by the uh, donor MSC class 1 to the recipient T cytotoxic cells or CD8 uh, plus cells or T cells so the first uh, one of the 
mechanism is recognition by the recipient cytotoxic T cells to the donor and low antigen. Second is a uh, by recognition of uh, or the activation of the recipient T helper cells CD4 plus uh, T helper cells. First, by the recipient antigen presenting cells, where they will uh, the recipient APC will process some of uh, the antigen from the transplanted organ, and it will be presented on their MSC class two to the T helper cells, which will stimulate the immune respond against the organ and also with the help by the donor on antigen presenting cells so because uh, one uh, one example of APCs dendritic cells they are found in most tissues and because uh, uh, they have uh, one of the main uh, APCs, the donor APCs that come along together with the uh, transplanted uh, organs will still do their job by presenting their own antigen to the recipient T helper cells. So the recipient or the host T helper cells will receive uh, uh, activation by both the host uh, APCs and also together with the donor APCs that come uh, transferred together with the tissues or organs. So once uh, activated, so we come to the effector stage. So the effector stage, this is where the immune destruction of the of the graft or uh, transplanted uh, organ uh, happen. The most common are cell mediated reactions involving uh, delayed type hypersensitivity and cytotoxic T cells mediated cytotoxicity. So these two are the most uh, common uh, mechanism on how the recipient immune system will reject the graft. First by the delayed T cell uh, hypersensitivity, uh, delayed type hypersensitivity T cells. Second by the cytotoxic T cells and the uh, less uh, common by ADCC which are induced by B cells producing uh, antibodies which uh, will activate complement and also ADCC so this is the least uh, common mechanism but uh, the most uh, of the time mediated by these two mechanism delayed type hypersensitivity and also cytotoxic T cells so first once uh, the T helper cells CD4 plus uh, T cell or T helper cells uh, being sensitized or activated they will produce interleukin 2 so this interleukin 2 will uh, induce the pro proliferation and production of effector cells so, uh, these are the effector cells, cell, cells that are performing the task of functions in the immune system. So the T uh, DTH will produce interferon gamma, which uh, one of uh, the main function is to activate macrophages to attack the organ. These activated macrophages will attack the organ by releasing uh, lytic enzymes that will lyse 
the membranes of the graph and also will increase the expression of MHC on the graph together with TNF beta this uh, TNF beta have some uh, cytotoxic uh, abilities to the that will affect the graft cells second the production of uh, two types of uh, cytotoxic T cell the CD8 uh, T cells that will uh, react with the class 1 MHC uh, LO antigen and also CD4 T cells, uh, cytotoxic T cells which will react to the class 2 MSC antigen on the graph and as for the B cells they will uh, proliferate and uh, pro to become plasma cells which then will produce a lot of antibodies that will attack the graph through a few mechanisms one of them is activation of complement that will eventually lead to the uh, production of uh, MAC or membrane attack complex that will lyse the uh, cell membranes and also a DCC that will uh, induce the, the function of natural killer cells and macrophages so these, these cells will work together in rejecting the graph so, so for immunosuppressive drugs the successful organ transplant lasts for around 10 years so uh, if the transplanted organ can survive around 10 years they will uh, consider as successful so allogenic transplantation uh, requires some degree of immunosuppression if the transplant is to survive because we know that allogenic uh, transplantation uh, will have a uh, we produce uh, immune response from the recipient against the transplanted organs so there is a need to suppress the recipient immune response in order to slow down the rejection process so this is how they can survive around 10 years some uh, shorter maybe 5 years or some longer up to 12 or 15 years a variety of immunosuppressive agents can help in the survival of the transplant including drugs and specific antibodies uh, monoclonal antibodies developed to diminish the immunologic attack on graph the majority of these agents have an overall immunosuppressive effect means they didn't just uh, suppress the immune response of the recipient to the graph but they will suppress the general response of the immune system to all other antigens including from uh, pathogens which includes uh, microbes uh, such as uh, viruses and uh, bacteria so they are harmful uh, if it is used for long term among the risk is uh, increased uh, exposure or risk uh, to infection increased risk uh, to cancer because they uh, suppress the immune system so they will su also suppress the ability of the immune system to detect tumor uh, antigens or tumor cells which lead to uh, 
proliferation of tumor cells that they eventually will become cancerous and also metabolic disease among a uh, few examples of uh, commonly used immunosuppressive drugs we have a few types with uh, different uh, mechanism on how they uh, suppress the immune response first we have uh, azathioprine which uh, have a mitotic which is a, a mitotic inhibitors so the action of azathioprine is by uh, inhibiting the T cell proliferation so they commonly use uh, in preventing and also treating rejection so they will be uh, used uh, or taken by the patients uh, immediately uh, before or after the uh, transplantation uh, operation and then second we have a uh, prednison is a form of is a type of immunosuppressive steroid a type of corticosteroids a group of uh, steroid called known as corticosteroids prednison they inhibit inflammatory cells and suppress expression of inflammatory mediators also used to prevent and treat rejection cytosporin uh, immunosuppressive drug this is uh, one of metabolite uh, first uh, isolated from a, uh, a, fun a fungi inhibit the transcription of interleukin 2 thus reduce the uh, function of effector cells and they are used for acute rejection and then we have a uh, monoclonal antibodies we have a variety of uh, scientists have, have uh, produced a variety of monoclonal antibodies with different uh, target but we will discuss uh, two here so moro monep cd3 is a type of monoclonal antibodies Monoclonal mean they have a specific target. The target CD3 on T cells so prevent activation of T cells. So it is used for acute rejection. And the clizumab, also a type of monoclonal antibodies which target interleukin 2 receptor on already activated T cells, thus inhibit interleukin 2 mediated activation of uh, lymphocytes also used in acute rejection so thank you very much